I don't know about me and Spring Farm, but I'm my yet yet develop food districts, you know, my animals will be a camp. And as you move on, this is the President Mahama, the MPP, and the other group, but only the people of the world. Move back, you just came. So, that's what we're going to do. We are there. So, that's what we're going to do. 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 Watch me, I'm a son mine, went check. Eh, woman, the men, 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 Bibio pe noni ji akhe oke si zamba ni ke ba ba de no akhe o boy noni a cho thank you for ye gana na efe won ye ye 15 region self eh ni gbe na o ba se greater ni e o ba se greater accra region ni ni wo fe program eh ni e wo ke manche me ke wo party bi pe ye ashama ni wo ya da me si e ja ke ashama nke o pe woni afon shiki e aha wo 
le fita he ni was see it say ni uh, 2016 one hundred and six. And honey, what's he say? But and when, but she one thirty seven. Ni many second day of Nani watch your thank you toy. Mini ke wamba as amasama. E wumi ake amasama was sitting. She ni. No, ni beef, bibio, 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 baboti, what thing? Ni see, te. Ni be, bibi, bibi, baboti, what thing? Ni see, te. A J, what the? Then I care. Then I was going to care Wednesday, a guy, a bach. Hey, what? You're not sure you have me. You see, it's about Jay Wadi. About Jay Wadi. See, okay, Sani Wababie. Honi Wabafe, Neke, Nichumo. Honi Wadanyeshi. Ni Wachon, Yano, Ni Wadda. Ga West Corridor, Fee, Wadda, Mofia Moshi. I can call quite greater cry results. 2016, new one for shit here. MPP, I made you want greater cry. By 116,000 votes, ni was seat, sir, ni were your, your greater cry, a bachelor's by 13 constituencies. She 2020, new one for shit here. Well, yeah, man, by 76,000 votes. The seat said, new one now, you're greater a crowd. It's 13 seats, but she 20 seats. The J noni ba, ni amasan, amasama, J wademi. Ke amasama fita ye, wabana 21 seats, you're greater a crowd. She Sani Woke Woke Chossi Noko Woke Cassini Pony War Eka Balanaka Kawafe Wafe Kumi Ya Amasamane MPP Amene Ahi, ahi, a seat away where you were. A war, Sunny Walker Cassidy. A care, Wolfie could be. Nay, you're sure I care. You more drum or he war. Twenty twenty four. Ama Sama seat, a bar, we say, but and this is. So when I meant to a mad that woman to me, she and I care, Nichi Money will buy two beer, or chocolate, Deba of Chiefs. A one may, I may, he won't, or Babier, a Libine. A one meant to a mad that I may see. Ne what chum may know, or may know not what that greater crap, Manchamay, fair she. I care, ne what fear campaign, eh? What about near Manchaway? Nina Solio. Ne fe paye ne hao. Ake wafe election ne ye twe he jole. Ne anukale hu twe jole ni wake fe campaign ne fe. Eni wo nye nye fe nye sole ake nyu mo ke waya ne ke waba. Anukale hu nyu mo ke wote ne ke waba. Ne noko noko e fe wo. E wo wata ne wata nye si. Thank you very much, my brothers and sisters. Today is Wednesday. General said that on Wednesday, the guy doesn't come too fluently. But I've done my best. <laughs> so we just want to thank you. A lot has been said. General has spoken. Our chairman has spoken. Our mother, Nana Jane, has spoken. And she said thank you to all of you. We want to thank all our chiefs, our imams, our Muslims, 
you know, our chief of, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a semi, I want to thank all of you for coming out in your numbers to come and meet us. If you look at the chiefs that are here, you see that Amasama has become a cosmopolitan community because there are all manner of people in this community. We have the indigenous people who are the Gans and the Gadangwe people. We have the northern chiefs. We have the Ewe chiefs. We have all different kinds of uh, people who are here resident in this population. And I know that you all know that it is when NDC is in office that you see development in this constituency. <laughs> Chairman was talking about Pokwasi Interchange. We used to have heavy traffic at Pokwasi Interchange, but Pokwasi Interchange did not come about for nothing. We had a vision for Pokwasi Interchange. And so for those of you who know Pokwasi Interchange, we didn't start with Pokwasi Interchange. We started with the Awoshi Pokwasi Road. So that when you're coming from uh, Winneba and other places, and you want to come towards Amasamang and Achimota and the rest, you don't have to go through Abeka La Paz and come round. So we did the Awoshi Pokwasi Road. And then we told African Development Bank, we said, look, we want money to build, because they financed the Awoshi Pokwasi Road. And we said, you've given us money for Awoshi Pokwasi. If you don't give us money for the Pokwasi interchange, the money you gave us for Awoshi Pokwasi is useless. Because how are you going to join the road when you come from Awoshi Pokwasi? You remember how it was. After I finished Awoshi Pokwasi, when you come, you have to take some dirty road, come down, go to John Tech, go and turn around and come back. So we asked for money for Pokwasi interchange. And they agreed. They gave it to us. They brought the agreement. We signed it before we left office. The money was given to us before we left office. And somebody came, and the money was there, and he continued it. And so it's only natural that governments must continue the projects that their predecessors start. But our, ship, our uh, Pokwasi Interchange was not in an end in itself. It was part of a whole complex of roads to join Awoshi Pokwasi to Pokwasi. And then there was another road that we were supposed to do from Pokwasi to Ridge Junction, Medina, so that you can go over the interchange, continue all the way to Ridge Junction and join Medina, go to Eburi, go to Oyarifa, come to Medina, or continue around to Afyenya. That was the plan. And so the Pokwasi Ridge Road is still waiting to be done. Because if we do the Pokwasi Ridge Road, if you are coming from Amasama and you are going to Medina, you don't have to go all the way to Achimota, pass the N1, pass the Takwashi, or go through Gimpa and go round to go to Medina. You just go through the interchange, climb the road to Ridge Junction, and come out at Medina. And while we're doing the Pokwasi Interchange, you were supposed to be opening the Amasaman corridor to Unsawam because you know that the traffic that was held back by the lack of an interchange, once you put an interchange and you free that traffic, that traffic will come to Amasaman. Today, that is what we see. So you come through the interchange, shim, very quickly, and then you come to Amasaman and the traffic is at a standstill. Meanwhile, this is the main corridor between Accra and the second largest city in Ghana, which is Kumasi. And so you know that the traffic on this corridor is very heavy. And so I call on the president. You finish Pokwasi, there are other parts. Rates, Pokwasi, Rates, Junction Road, we have to start it. And then opening up the Amasaman corridor to Osawam to allow the traffic to flow, we need to work on that. If you start working on it, that's fine. But if you don't, when we come into government in 2025, we will do those works. We've been talking about abandoned projects. We know that this is an urban 
constituency, peri urban constituency. And a lot of children are looking for entrance into secondary education. And so if you say you are bringing free SHS, you must provide the opportunities for the children to have access to free SHS. And so because of that, we thought about it and we started a community day secondary school in this constituency. Unfortunately, we didn't finish the school before we left office. Akramaman, where we left it, that is where the school is still at. It hasn't continued, it has not been finished. But if it had been finished, this school will be like the school at Frafraha. Today, that school is full because the whole Frafraha, Amrehia, all that area, all the children go to their community day school. So they don't have to go to Kukrantumi Secondary School. They don't have to go to West Africa Secondary School. They don't have to go to other secondary schools. They can get secondary education in their own community. Today, if you go to Kwabenya Atomic, I opened one of the schools there. Today, that school is functioning. All the children in Domi, Kwabenya, all that area, go to that school. So when they finish their basic education, they don't have to go to Boku Secondary School. They don't have to go to uh, 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 Kwaumai Secondary School. They have a secondary school in their own community, and so they go and attend their own secondary school. If we had continued what we were doing, we're putting these e-blocks in the various areas so that children can access secondary school within their own communities. Today, we will not have the double track where gold go today, green come tomorrow, gold go, green come, gold, green, gold, green. And so, development is something that you must put your mind to. You don't just get up and say that you can run a country without thinking about how you can develop the infrastructure so that it benefits the people of the country. We know that Amasama and surrounding areas are growing in population. And that's why we cited the polyclinic here, Oduman Polyclinic. I don't know what they call it today. Oduman. Oduman Polyclinic. So that it will help to improve the health needs of the people of this area. And so these are all the things that we we're doing. We started to improve the road network in this area. Today, all that work has come to a standstill. And I can say that in four and a half years, nothing has happened in this community. But I know that you worked hard. It was just a little problem between you that made us lose this seat. But I'm confident that we have learned our lesson and that by the grace of God, come 2024, we will come together. All of us in this constituency, all the chiefs here will come together and we will have a candidate that will stand for NDC in this constituency and bring this constituency back into the fold of the NDC. So I won't speak too much. I want to thank all of you for the work that you have done. As the executives at the national level, even at the regional level, they cannot be with you every day to do the legwork that you need to make sure that this constituency is actively within NDC's grasp. It is you, the constituency leaders, it is you, the branch executives, who will do that work. And so I want to thank you for the good work you did. It's not your fault that we lost the constituency, but I know that next time, if we come together and we are all together in unity, we will get the seat back. So let me thank you very much. Let me congratulate me. Okay, Akramama, Akiagwele was school learner.
Hey, yo, baby, I know. <laughs> so, let me congratulate me, Amasa. He is a brother to us. We know the work he has done for Ghana. We know the work he has done for his community. And when he was talking, he made a suggestion, and we will take it to heart. He said that the traditional authorities should be giving a certain percentage of the common fund so that they can use it to finance the work they, that they do as traditional authorities. And it's something that we'll take into consideration. But we must also note that currently, the District Assembly's Common Fund is in arrears for four quarters. That's almost one year. And so if even the chiefs had a small portion of it, for one year now, you would not have received your portion. And so we need to call on the government that the District Assembly's Common Fund is what is used for development at the grassroots level. And so if you do not release that common fund, then development does not continue at the grassroots level. Already, you are overborrowing and consuming. And nothing is happening at the national level. We don't see any infrastructure you're doing. So at least release the common fund, let them build their clinics, their small primary school blocks and other things. That one to you release it. So let me end here. Thank you very much. Thank you.